for this problem statement, we have the steel water pipe has an inner diameter of 12 inches and wall thickness of 0.25 inches. If the valve A is closed and the water pressure is 300 pounds per square inch, determine the longitudinal and hoop stress developed in the wall of the pipe. So in this case, we're asked both for the longitudinal or the axial stress as well as the hoop stress. So let me go ahead and rewrite these equations here. So since in this case, all you have is a cylindrical tank, that's the equations we're going to be using, the axial and the hoop stress for a cylindrical tank. And since we have all the parameters needed to go ahead and solve, it's nothing more than plugging in each of the values here and solving for your axial and hoop stress accordingly. So for the axial stress or the longitudinal stress, we actually have 3,600 pounds per square inch. Now let's go ahead and solve for the hoop stress. And for the hoop stress, we have 7,200 pounds per square inch. And this is where you see the worst case scenario or the highest stress developed for this pressure vessel would in fact be the hoop stress. And this is what you should be using in terms of designing the pressure vessel such that it won't fail. Because if you happen to use the longitudinal stress, um, you're going to design it for for it to only handle 3,600 pounds per square inch, but it could actually, for the same pressure, um, you'll develop twice that of stress when, it, when you're looking at the hoop stress specifically. So this is why we're always looking at the worst case scenario or the highest stress developed in the pressure vessel. In this case, we would utilize the hoop stress. And this is how you solve for the stress developed for a thin water pressure vessel.